Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in this one today, we're going to talk about how do you exit out a emulator, exit out a game, get back to the uh, menu, whether you want to use a button combo on here, or whether you installed an extra button to exit back. Now, if, if you downloaded one of the recent uh, images I have, uh, you'll be prompted first to the track mode here. Very first thing you want to do is exit out back to emulation station. And the way you do that, press tab. It's going to be prompted here. And you're going to click yes. If you're running a uh, new image, uh, default RetroPie, you'll be prompted with this as well. First thing you want to do is set up your uh, keyboard. Uh, USB or wireless keyboard or keypad on here so you have that set once that's done press start and then go back to configure input and let's input our joystick and buttons now one thing to note when you're setting up your buttons and controls you can set up your buttons any way you want it really doesn't matter uh, but um, there's some that are auto automatically configured for instance when you set up your hotkey um, when you set up your start button, uh, whatever your start button and hotkey is, that will exit you out from any emulator. Um, if you set up a, let's say, X button, um, use a button X, that along with a hotkey will bring up the RetroArch menu. So there's uh, certain ones that are automatically, um, will automatically be set up initially without you doing anything or going to any type of settings these are automatically done through RetroArch but we're gonna go into the RetroArch that's the first thing we want to do once we're done configuring our buttons like I said it really doesn't matter as long as you know which button is where you'll be able to configure this so let's go there now uh, from the menu go to RetroPie and then uh, click on RetroArch and let's uh, check out the settings all right, so this is the RetroArch menu. Uh, first, we're going to come down to Settings from the main menu. Then uh, from Settings here, we're going to go down to Input. All right, and that'll take us here. We want to find Hotkey Binds. Scroll down to Hotkey Binds, and this is where we're going to be able to make our changes. Okay, as you can see on here, the ones we're concerned about is the Quit RetroArch and what your hotkey is. So you scroll down to Quit RetroArch, input the button you want to use as the button to quit out RetroArch. Okay, whether you are doing a um, button combo or you're doing just one uh, specific button. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to make uh, I guess player one as my... Uh, exit out and then we're going to need to set up our hotkey uh, as either player two or our fire button whichever combo you want to use if you're using the single button then we're going to make play, uh, that button as both the hotkey and the quit retro arch now i uh, would as you can see here there's some that are automatically set like the save state here slot so i'm going to change all those to my quit retro arch menu which is my player one this way those are never triggered or used okay we scroll down to hotkey this is your hotkey button okay whatever you configured you could change it here as well if you uh, set it up as the wrong one let's say you made this as your player one as well so this way you, when you hit player one you don't quit out so I'll set up as player two, and then right here, as you can see, menu toggle. If you don't want the menu on there, you could change that as well to whatever you have as your quit retro arch uh, button. So this way, the only button that will function here for me is the uh, exit out retro arch. Okay, uh, everything else is set as the same button, so it will not function or do anything okay um, let's back out um, I'm gonna back out again uh, once again and until you're back here to the main menu once we're here we just got to save this so go down to configuration file go there and then you want to save current configuration the third one down on here 
okay that will overwrite your previous one and the changes that we've made if ever you have to reset the default it's the one above here so all right that will save it we could now quit out uh, let's load up 1942 here and then if I use my uh, press any buttons here it's nothing's gonna happen no menus uh, only the ones that I set which is player one player two so I just put by themselves they won't if I hit the combo we're back out so that's how you set up your exit key through the retro arch um, option two here which I don't recommend if you don't want to use retro arch now this only works on main games so let's say if you're you have like final burn alpha this will um, not work for you. You have to use RetroArch or if you're using some console games. So that's why I don't recommend it. But uh, in the recent uh, 8-way and 4-way image, they're all main games. So you could use this option. So when it asks you here for uh, your hotkey, you're going to answer no. Uh, you skip it. Uh, on here, by holding a button, we'll skip that feature. And then when you click OK, it's going to give you this warning message uh, that they still want to want you set up, but you click no on there that you do not want to use it. Okay, and the way we do this, we load up a game, load up 1942 here, and then you go to the, you're going to press tab to bring up the main menu. Okay, from the main, main menu, you go to the first one, input, and then from here, we're going to scroll down to UI cancel. Okay, now you could do, um, you're going to hit enter on the keyboard and then you're going to press whichever button you want to set this up. You could set this up as a button or a button combo. So if you want to do like before player one and player two to exit out or player one and then your fire button to exit out, uh, you would press both buttons at the same time. Okay, and that's it. That's all that's done to there. You don't have to do any type of hotkeys or anything that will configure it out. Now, whether you do it this way or the other way where the hotkeys and you canceled everything else out, you're still able to function those uh, options with your keyboard, your hotkey, keyboard, um, if you have that set up with the keyboard. Uh, third option here, what we have is right directly from the attract mode. Okay, if you're in attract mode, all you have to do is press tab, uh, bring up the settings here, and you're going to scroll all the way up to emulators. From emulators, you're going to select arcade, and then in the arcade menu here, as you can see, there is a exit hotkey. And just as the main one on here, you could uh, do a button or button combo on here. Uh, what's cool about this one, this feature, uh, you know how sometimes you may select a game by accidentally. You don't actually have to wait for the game to load up to exit out. You could exit right from the launch menu uh, with this feature. So that's another way here you could set up your exit key if you do not want to use the hotkey feature or the main exit you could just do it uh, directly from attract mode and this will bring you right back to the attract mode menu all right let me show you how, you, how i installed the extra button to the j panel you could use this bit i don't like this one because uh, if you go too far in sometimes you can make a much bigger hole than you need to I like this other bit here that I use. Um, it always worked for any buttons or joysticks, never had a problem. It's the perfect size always. And it has the center there to give you that center spot. Um, and it just works great, you know. Uh, looking at the J panel, it's 18 by seven. So if you want the hole to be directly center, you gotta come down three and a half and you gotta come uh, across by nine. So it's three and a half by nine to get that center spot. Uh, I used a hat button on here. I just like the length of it on there. And then anything that has like that ring on there, it will clamp it there. So this way your button doesn't start hanging or falling off on here. This really secures the uh, the button to that J pen. Looks that J pen is very skinny on there. So you really need to uh, have it secured. Now, um, if you're you know uh, up on the fence on this, you don't want to. Uh, Put any holes. I mean, we're not uh, doing anything to the uh, control pad itself, but let's say uh, yeah, you're not comfortable with uh, drilling holes or 
uh, you sometimes you may think, what if I want to uh, bring this back to stock? You don't want to uh, have the modded cap anymore. Well, if you go to uh, Do It Yourself Retro Arcade website, there they actually sell these J panels. Um, I bought one for my Donkey Kong cap. There's uh, certain ones, ones with speaker holes. Some of them already have the holes drilled in. Or you could even uh, go to eBay. eBay sells these J panels as well. So you purchase one of these, you can make your uh, drill your hole, and then if you do want to revert back to the uh, stock, you could always do without uh, damaging or doing any type of holes to your stock uh, J panel. Reason why I put the extra button, I mean, I have little kids or I have kids that come over and, you know, pressing the, you know, or just mashing the buttons here, they'll exit out. Simply putting the button uh, below the deck here prevents all that and just easy, simple, and I do this to all my cabs. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. Have a good night, everybody.